What is going on guys? Anthony come back at you with another video. Hope everyone is doing well. Third time making this video. I uh, was interrupted once by my roommate and once by a phone call. So hopefully to get this one through. Got a couple pickups as you can see. Nice little healthy stack here. Um, most of these are trades just because of the fact that pickups have slowed down and are slowing down. I just had to pay for my second installment for this semester's tuition which was Oh, which is always fun. Love having to pay for that. So, <laughs> did a lot of trades, and then I have a couple pickups coming in from group breaks, but I'm not requesting shipment yet, just because I'm probably gonna join a couple more of their group breaks. Uh, one item coming in from eBay, but the reason why I wanted to make this video now is because I'm trying to build up my consistency of mail days. My last mail day was about two weeks ago, so that's really the time frame that I want to post. I want to post a video once every two weeks I'm trying to. So thought I'd get this one up. So without further ado, let's get on to the pickups. Starting off with the George. Let's just move these over here so you don't get a little sneak before I show them. Uh, first, the George Springer pickups. I want to start building some rainbows, but I don't want to start building rainbows unless I pick up like the, ver the, the shortest printed or the second shortest printed in the rainbow unless it's his rookie year stuff then I'll just pick up whatever I can find so this is gonna be one that's gonna be not really expensive but it's gonna take a while to find just because the cards are already back from 2014 and people I believe people are probably hoarding the short printed stuff for the, for the season um, but it's from Topps Chrome 2014 this is his first Topps Chrome and they had like an update but this is from the first release this is the purple refractor uh, and then one rainbow, like I said, I want to start picking up the shortest printed stuff first. Guy threw in the base card, 2015's finest. And then the card that I picked up was the red refractor, numbered out of five. So very nice. I think the next rainbow that I want to start is 2017 Bowman's Best, but I've missed out on the super. That's been what's been kind of making me not want to start it because the super sold, I want to say, back in January. Um, then next up for another Springer rainbow that I'm working on. I'm down to needing like three cards for this set and the version to 50 is currently on auction which I plan on winning. Once I win that one, I will be down to needing just the red to 10 and black one one. This is from the Tribute. The orange number is 25. Love, 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 love the looks of these cards. Super sweet. Would love to add the, the Derek Jeter autograph but I just believe that Derek Jeter's Derek Jeter's stuff is very interesting because his older autographs from Upper Deck sell for like pennies and then his new top stuff sell for so much. So it's not always interesting. It's interesting to me. Uh, two pickups that I weren't really going to show in this video. They were supposed to go right to my show, but USPS has been extremely slow lately and they got delayed and we're not here in time for my show. Uh, two pickups, uh, two cards from Immaculate. Got a Jasper Salison Relic to 49. And a Kevin Strootman patch auto number to 75. It's a two color, right? See so, ya. Yeah. Uh, my long term investment guy for soccer. Number one, he doesn't have a lot of cards out there. So once his stuff blows up, there's going to be a limited, qu limited quantity of cards to go after. So I think they have huge potential of going up a lot because he's being scouted by some of the top teams in the world. And. Like I said, he doesn't have much out there, and I got him for super cheap right now. So it is uh, Mr. Christian Pavan. He's currently a winger for Boca Juniors. Um, teams that want him include Arsenal, we're scouting him, uh, Bayern Munich, PSG, Real Madrid. So we'll see what happens. Got two Astros. Uh, these are two Fractals. And one Cosmic. And the cosmic are numbered to 100. So I picked this up for four dollars. I could see that card going up to being a fifty dollar card if and when something happens with him, if not more. Honestly, look at Keelan Mbappe. His base cards from Select are going for twenty dollars. The base cards. Um, I think the cards numbered to 99 are going for about a hundred dollars. <laughs> so next up, we got the Marco Reus editions. Only got a couple here. I do have some more coming in just from group breaks. Um, but my show that I set up at, I was talking to a guy on one of my soccer Facebook groups that 
lives about 10 minutes from me and I told him about the show and I said, hey, if you're busy, you should stop on by. If you're not busy, stop on by. He's like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to because I have some Royce cards that I wanted to give to you. So like, oh, that's really appreciated. I just expected to, when he said he was going to give me some cards, I just expected to be a lot of doubles, stuff that I had. Uh, but even doubles are appreciated. And there are actually two cards in the pile that I did not have. So I was super excited. He's like, I've never seen someone more excited to get a insert card number to 200 or excuse me 199 but i've just been looking for them for so long they just don't pop up it's from 2016 donruss got the die cut number two 149 just can't find it <laughs> and then from production line let's so from donruss from the production line set this is the canvas out of 49 so super sick two cards that i did not have and then one pickup for royce uh, purchase, excuse me, I should say. This was a card that came out a couple years ago. Have honest, I've never seen one sold. I know someone who owns one, but I've never seen one sold. I asked him how much he paid for his, and the card was up at a very high buy in our best offer. I made him an offer less than what I, I was just like. Let's see what this guy says. I made him an offer less than what the guy told me he paid for his, and he actually accepted it. So I got this card for what I think was a great price. I paid, I think, like $44 for the Sapphire to 20. And I paid like $50 for this. No, Sapphire to 10. And I paid like $50 for this. This is from 2016. Uh, Flawless, the Emerald. Number to five. So I still need the Ruby to 15 and the Diamond to 20. And then if the Black 101 ever pops up, I really... I don't know. We'll see how much that goes for. Uh, I... At this point, it's probably not going to pop up because Flawless kind of... I don't know. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. And lastly, the Christian Pulisic, the American pickups. Really undecided what like what direction I'm going with this collection. I've just kind of been picking up cards here and there. I did a big trade. I traded with my Paulo Dybala black gold autograph that I got for a song and a dance. Um, the guy made me a really strong offer. I think I like, tripled what I got for it in value. And then my buddy hit me up. He had a card and then he gave, gave me that card for a song and a dance. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this collection just because of the fact that he's being rumored to move to a couple different teams. And he, if, if he ends up coming to the Premier League and plays for Tottenham, I do not want to have Tottenham cards in my collection. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to stop collecting Pulisic. So it's kind of just like a speculation. I just think if he does move to the Premier League, his stuff is going to go up in price because it's a much larger market than the Bundesliga. So as of right now, it's like kind of like a PC, but at the same time, it's an investment. Not, like I said, just not sure what I'm going to do with it all. This card I actually posted up early on the Facebook group. Usually I don't do that. I usually like posting the video first before posting any pictures up. And it's now also on, also on Instagram. But I found this app where you can take pictures of cards and it turns it into a scan almost. It's called Surface Lens and it captures refractors so well, better than scanners. Like scanners never capture how awesome refractors are and this app really does. So these are case hits and everybody seems to be putting this set together. So very happy to get it from Select, the Kaboom. Love it, great card. Uh, then offer also from Select, this is the base autograph. Very nice. I'd love to find the tie-dye version of this. I've never seen any of the numbered ones sell from this set other than the Black 101. And then the last two pickups, both from the same set. This is from Immaculate. I love the all the acetate surface cards. I still want to pick up the Immaculate Premium Patch Auto. I just missed one just sold for like $300 the other night, but unfortunately um, I could not swing it with um, stuff I had to pay for just recently. Otherwise, I would definitely pay $300 for it. Um, this is from the ink set, numbered out of 65. Like I said, another one of those acet acetate surfaces. So to get all that, I have the, the celebration signatures. To get all the acetate surfaces, it would still need like the patch auto, the premium patch auto, and the if you consider the shadow box and acetate surface as well. We'll see what happens. And the last pickup, um, wasn't planning on getting this one from Immaculate, but my buddy hit me up saying he needed some money and he gave it to me for such a great price. I couldn't come, I, I, I couldn't turn it down because if I could sell it today easily for 
a prophet is number two 45 the immaculate patch autograph with a gorgeous patch beautiful beautiful card love it so guys that is all for my collection if you guys have not checked out my website yet showcasing all my soccer cards please go do so I'm still in the process of scanning stuff up. My Marco Royce piece, I still have to scan probably about like 40 more cards. It's just like, just it's just time consuming. So I still need to work on scanning some stuff up. But that is going to be all for today. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Happy Monday. And as always, thanks for watching.